How's it going guys and girls? Today we're going to talk about this cool little hombre. That's right, that is the Brotherhood Apothecary. Bully sick mate. Stick around. Alrighty, Brotherhood Apothecary. So we're back into characters again. So we're into the elites now. Let's go through his statistics. He has got a basic movement of five. He has a weapon skill and blister skill both of three plus. He's got a strength and toughness of four. He's got five wounds, five attacks, and leadership eight with a two plus save. Now this is another one of those guys that in the previous codex had a two plus uh, weapon skill. Now he's back to a three. I'm uh, not disappointed because he is still pretty damn good. He is armed with a Nemesis Force Sword, Frag and Crack Grenades. That's right, he has a Blister Skill of 3+, plus, but he's got no guns. <laughs> Anyways. So, War Gear options. This model's Force Sword can be replaced with one of the following. He can have a Demon Hammer. A falchion, a force halberd, a force sword, or a warding stave. Now, I, as you saw with my dude before, I gave my guy a halberd. Uh, used to be good to run him with a hammer. Uh, still can if you want. He's just going to be hitting on fours. I uh, put the halberd on there because I just wanted him to look sick, and I feel like I achieved that. And I don't have any problems with it. So, if you've got a problem with me running with a halberd, let me know. But either way, all good. So, abilities. He has Knights of Titan and Teleport Strike. He has a Crux Terminatus for a 5 plus invulnerable save. And he's got two special rules. Combat Restor... Restor... I've just gone dyslexic here, and I apologise. Combat Restoratives. At the end of your movement phase, this model can heal one friendly Grey Knight's infantry model whose unit is within three inches of it. That model regains up to D3 lost wounds. Each model can only be healed once per turn. So it's basically exactly the same as the Tech Marine's ability was, except the difference is this dude's healing infantry as opposed to vehicles, okay? The Tech Marine, he can heal your Dread Knights, your Razorbacks, Rhinos, your Storm Raiders, etc, etc. The Apothecary is there to heal men, alright? So, makes sense. And Anarchithium, it is an aura. While a friendly Grey Knight infantry unit is within 3 inches of this model, each time a model in that unit would lose a wound, roll 1d6 on a 6 that wound is not lost. Okay, basically, long story short, that is feel no pain of 6. Okay, you... Let's say you had a squad of Terminators. This dude's within three inches, so I shot it with a Laz Cannon, all right? Laz Cannon's hit. They're rolled, they've wounded, you've failed your save, they've rolled the damage, they've rolled three, okay? So that Terminator's taking three damage, it's going to die, unless you get to roll these, okay? So you pick up your dice, you pick up your three dice, you roll them, you roll a two, a four, and a six, okay? So one of those wounds is suddenly deflected. You've now only lost two, and that Terminator is still alive. Okay, so let's say it's all finished and done. That's it, the next turn, end of movement phase, you just do the combat rest restoratives. D3, you roll it, you get two wounds. Terminator's back to life. Perfect. All right, in a perfect world. Now, uh, we do get to cast one psychic power and we do get to uh, also. Uh, uh, we do get to cast and we get to deny one psychic power. Now, uh, I've got a stratagem here for him. It's a special stratagem and I can't find it. Here it is. It's called the Ch Chigur. Chir Chir Chirurgic Resurrection. 
Chiru Regeek Resurrection. Can we just call it Healing G Dubs, please? Next next card is want to just be called the uh, the uh, re Resurrection Resurrection uh, ability. That would be perfect. Use this stratagem at the end of your movement phase. Select one Grey Knight's Apothecary unit from your unit uh, from your army, and then select one friendly Grey Knight's Infantry unit that has not. Uh, at its starting strength and it was within three inches of that apothecary. One of the selected units destroyed models is returned to its unit with its full wounds remaining. So let's assume one of those terminators or strikes have died. For one CP, you've now got another guy back. All right. The two units that are best to do that on are your paladins or your terminators because if you're spending a CP, you only get a maximum amount of them in a game you spend that CP you want to get the most value from it okay if you are playing in a, uh, a unit then you're trying to make them defensive and protective and resilient then this guy's your man he's going to heal dudes wounds he's going to stop wounds going through and he's going to bring guys back from the dead now Psychic powers, you want to be defensive with him. You're going to be trying to keep him guys alive. Uh, sanctuary's usually a pretty obvious one, okay? Uh, get, getting, stopping like wounds going through is your goal. So Sanctuary, um, if you want to play him like a little bit aggressively, you could go Empiric Amplication or Gate of Infinity or something like that. But Typically, Sanctuary is a really good power for him because you're going to have him near a unit that you need to keep alive. Uh, so, when it comes to um, Wellicks, I do like the Cuirass of Sacrifice for him. Uh, it adds one to saving throws made for the bearer, and each time the bearer would lose a wound, roll 1d6 on a 5 plus that wound is not lost. Okay? He's uh, got a 6 up, feel no pain for himself, but he's going to be running around helping out other guys. This gives him that little bit more of a bonus. So uh, it, it's built in to help him out. So he doesn't need to be wasting his time trying to give himself a bit better feel no pain. He just comes with it. And um, also the extra armor save. So having a one plus save on him, it means he's going to be a lot harder to kill. Uh, I do quite like that. The other one I actually like for him, being a uh, halberd man myself, uh, I take the Soul Glaive on him from time to time. Uh, so it's plus two strength, AP neg three instead of AP neg two. So you got a bit of an AP boost on there. Damage two, and then you get to reroll your hit and wound rolls. So if you, someone gets close to your unit that he's defending, he can actually get in there and punch the crap out of him as well. Being not weapon skill two plus, the rerolls to hit actually are pretty good for him. So, uh, yeah, and then I get to reroll wounds as well. I've got five attacks, so in terms of attacks, he's actually not too bad. He's, he's up there with a the brother captain, funny enough. But, uh, yeah, that's the apothecary for that. And um, the obvious choice as well for brotherhood is the preservers. And that's because the psychic power they come with, it's uh, basically anyone that's nearby, if they cast that psychic power on themselves, their feeling of pain becomes five plus instead of six. So you've now got your Terminator unit, which I went through with Terminators. They're now at a, a 1 plus A from Tide of Shadows. He'll be at a 0 plus if he's got the armor. Uh, then you've got your 4 up Invulnerable, which he's cast on the Terminators. And then they've cast that power on themselves, so then now they've got a 5 up Feel No Pain. They're going to be a tough nut to shift. I would usually go bigger squad over a smaller squad, just so you can maximize those abilities. And um, if guys get killed, you can always just bring them back, bring them back, bring them back. But then again, it's gonna be a CP each time. But uh, worth it or not, you're the one playing. I'm just here to give you tips. So that's it, the Apothecary, he is pretty good. If you can squeeze him into a list, give him a go, have a play around with him. He's a lot of fun. It's also really fun to have guys not die and you can say, hey, sorry Dark Angels, sorry Death Guard, sorry Thousand Suns with your Terminators, this is how ours roll. Boom!